Jack Hunma and his Gaudo is demonstrating absolute supremacy in the Bucky universe. Jack is now biting people with skill, strategy, and of course, pure insanity to rise to the ranks and achieve his original goal. Something at a very young age to become the strongest creature alive. Different to Bucky's original goal or purpose, to defeat his father who just happened to be the strongest creature, Jack wants that title and is willing to do anything to achieve it. Training so hard as a child, it only ends when he passes out and is now building his way up to face both characters now recognized as the strongest creatures. Everything about that and Gao Dao will be revealed in today's video. Throughout the story of Bucky, Jack has been biting people since the start, using it for the first time in round 2 of the Maximum Tournament, at least for what we saw. In such a way, no one knew what he was doing to make his opponent bleed, until it was fully revealed with all its glory. Jack continues to implement it in the later rounds, even with holds back then, with it already being established that his bite strength is insane, via this coconut flex he did for whatever reason, and also biting as a counter as shown in the Goki match, which also involved him holding onto Goki's arm with his teeth to land various combos, something I hope he does again. He also landed a bite on Baki that hit an artery, resulting in the protagonist to only have 3 minutes to win that fight. The loss of blood victory approach for Jack pretty much first occurred in this fight, something he's now using in current Baki Rahen. However, this is where we run into a problem with his biting and the downfall of this strategy. When trying to break out of Baki's demon back amped hold, Jack's teeth shatter, proceeding to face defeat. He doesn't seem to use biting in the following few fights in the later arcs, namely against Sikorsky and Ali Jr. Focusing on his body with his height surgeries and increasing his strength, he did however flex his biting ability and reaction speed in this nail scene. After that, Jack's biting faces a direct defeat, losing in the almighty kiss clash with Pickle, and getting his entire face and teeth destroyed multiple times in that long lasting battle, and kinda again with his depressing cry, Jack proceeds to reach his maximum height while also maintaining all speed and strength he's gained, meaning my man is an absolute monster now. Wanting to face Masashi Miyamoto, however, Motobe is in his way. This is where his attempted bite was prepared for by Motobe, the prep time king, resulting in the third time all of Jack's teeth were destroyed, and perhaps in the most severe way or absolute way in this situation, making it seem like Jack should just give up on biting and focus on something else perhaps, as even later in the motorway fight, he almost won with his rage induced striking alone, not needing his biting. However, Jack believes in the might of biting, disappearing from the series for some time, going overseas, returning in Bucky Dao 2018 chapter 105. Looking more buff than ever before, However, he's still the same height as previously, now having titanium teeth and claiming he's made major improvements to the power of his bite. So much so, his face actually changed somewhat. I guess this is where the Demon Jaw fan theory came from. The main reason for the new titanium teeth is claimed as due to Motobe destroying all of them. And then we have the most important aspect. Jack decided he wanted to devote himself to biting and made this his martial art pursuit, traveling around the world to learn and create what is now known as Gao Dao, the way of the biting. Something that now in chapter 8 of Baki Rahen has resulted in Jack to have a talk with Yudro. Yes, with Yudro. Something all of us still can't believe happened this early with a few key reveals occurring in their conversation. First is Jack claiming that his abilities have finally caught up to his body. As I mentioned earlier, during the Masashi arc, Jack claimed he had reached the tallest he wants to be while having the strength and speed required with that body, meaning the main weakness was more so his skill or perhaps his biting that was exploited in the previous fights. Now that is starting to fade. With a reminder from Yudro that yes, he's getting there, but not perfect, confirming that Jack will continue to improve 
with the ogre actually respecting Jack as his son now, claiming that in the history of those who've sought to be the strongest, you alone have set foot into the true world of biting, you have a rare purity. Truly highlighting how far Jack has come now and the might of his Gaudel, but let's bring it back a little bit. Before the Sukune fight, Jack also confirmed it's a long way from perfection, clearly getting closer with every fight we see Jack have and the more we see Gaudel used. He views biting as mankind's ultimate weapon as everyone can use it to do damage, such as women and children which is brought up many times when talking about biting. However, Jack hasn't just made his bite strength more powerful, his knowledge of weak points or vital spots is highlighted when Jack was looking at this Giga Dog. Also during one moment in the Sukune fight, this X-ray like vision, which could be similar to Yudra's ability where he's able to see the weakness of everyone just naturally, they just appear in his eyes. Jack most likely had a degree of knowledge back during the Maximum Tournament as shown with a few of the bites landing in vital positions, but now he probably knows it all, a full understanding of how to use his Gaudel or how to use his biting, getting into a better position to land them. Side note, I love how serious Jack is about biting now, putting fear into the Giga Dog, claiming that he's only an amateur of biting, likewise for lions compared to this Hanma. Additionally, when it comes to training, We've seen the Bucky cast do some fairly interesting things throughout the series, just take Bucky's imagination. For Jack, it's mainly just been him going to the extremes. Before he's Gaudel, he actually sleeps like this and doesn't consider this his real training. The lifting of insane weight with his jaw is the good stuff. Perhaps with a few sets of like 8 to 15, I guess that's what regular people would think. I hope you didn't think that for Jack. He does over 400 reps in one go, most likely until he falls unconscious like he's always been doing. But now it's time to go over his showings of Gaudel in action in the series so far. The real stuff that highlights how monstrous this martial art truly is. And honestly, the first time we saw it before we used is still one of the most impressive. Tsukune landed a direct strike on Jack's face as a counter to Jack's initial punch and lost one of his fingers in that quick instant, claiming that this is the instinct of Gaudel. If you touch him, Jack bites, so it's better to stay away and even not fight him if you want to be safe, something that connects to various moments in his Kosho fight that I'll go over shortly. Tsukune right away understands the danger of Jack, while biting may seem quite simple and the attack used by the weak, but Jack uses it while wielding a gigantic technical arsenal which allows him to quickly take his opponent out in various situations and moments. Any chance he has, Jack is able to land the bite, as shown when he attacks Tsukune. Just getting close to him when he's serious is enough for Jack. Occurring again throughout the fight as Sukune lands a kick with the biting cyborg also using strategy when coming into fights now, at least in the Sukune clash against someone who has the capabilities to actually defeat him as claimed by Jack himself. He bites off his traps, this is to nerf one of his most overpowered abilities or what Sukune is pretty much known for alongside the already stolen finger, making it clear that if there's a point on the body where Jack can exploit to give him an advantage, to give him a win, Jack will be using it, while also now showing the capability to smoothly transition between striking, defensive means, and his biting, even during a non-stop clash, highlighting that this is a true martial art now. It will also be important to take what Jack considers as a victory. It's not simply who is standing over the other when the fight is over, it's pretty much who is still conscious enough to continue fighting. The loss of blood his opponents need to deal with puts Jack in a winning situation the more he prolongs a fight. And also, when he calls out the fighters, it's clear that he wants to prove the superior nature of his Gaudo, why the biting martial art is better than everything else, whether it be Gaia's military close quarters combat or what the karate masters use. 
Jack's fighting represents him willing to do anything for the sake of winning. No shame at all, any advantage you can get he'll take it, that is biting to Jack, the ultimate weapon as previously established. The only one on his level in this regard is Pickle, who's a beast for the most part in the way he views fighting, not really like a typical martial artist, someone who's perhaps hunting. Now when it comes to Baki Rahan, the current ongoing manga, Jack's first main fight, or second main fight you could say, was against Kosho Shinogi the cord cutter, where he once again demonstrated the might of his Gaudel, in a much more conservative way however. Throughout the fight he was giving his opponent multiple chances, perhaps connecting to Jack being a nice guy, where he lets his guard down and faces some damage, but he also always manages to recover and land a bite when required, that had Kosho bleeding out once again and highlighting to the other fighters just how dangerous it is and how many locations of their body they need to protect from Jack's Gaudel. Jack was able to make Kocho think that his martial art is the greatest in history, which is very respectable, but something for this fight to remember is Jack was very clearly not taking him that serious and was more so just demonstrating that when Jack wants, he can pretty much dominate his opponent, which is perhaps important moving forward. Now we wait for more chapters of Baki Rahen that I'll continue to cover on the channel to see who Jack can overcome next with his Gyarado and if he can truly achieve his goal of being the strongest creature alive. Additionally, I'm now working on some member only content, going over my process of content creation and how I was able to grow this channel over the years. If that's something you're interested in, consider becoming a member like these mad lads which includes various other benefits. Thank you, that's it guys, peace.